Hi, in this video let's discuss few important points pertaining to gold cast restoration especially uh, the resistance form features right so we'll discuss a case and based on that we'll try to discuss the relevant points pertaining to that case right so the question is I mean we have a case based question a gold only you placed last week fails which of the following reasons is most likely responsible for failure? So I'll repeat the question again. A gold only you placed last week fails. Which of the following reasons is most likely responsible for failure? And the options given are, you capped the functional cusp, you shoot the functional cusp, you capped the non-functional cusp, you shoot the non-functional cusp. Right, so these are the options given. So for this, we need to understand what is capping and showing. Right. So we'll discuss a few important relevant points pertaining to this capping and showing in this video, and also, uh, and these uh, capping and showing they come under resistance form features of a gold cast restoration, or uh, for that matter, any uh, cast restoration which involves coverage of cusps. Right. So in case of gold only the resistance form features include capping as well as shoeing so capping is coverage of the entire cusp with a gold cast restoration or for that matter any cast restoration so it includes coverage of the entire cusp right so this capping is usually done in case of functional cusps so functional cusps in case of maxilla palatal cusp in case of mandible the buccal cusps whereas showing is nothing but veneering procedure a veneering of a non-functional cusp by means of a slight preparation bevel or by means of a slight finishing bevel right so showing is preferred in case of non functional cusps when you compare capping and showing capping is usually preferred because capping as such enhances the fracture resistance resistance to fracture of a particular tooth right so capping is usually preferred over showing however we go for showing in certain circumstances certain clinical scenarios where there is a demand for minimal display of metal for example in case of the facial aspects of maxillary premolars and molars uh, in case for enhanced aesthetics right so we need to have minimal metal exposure and maximum tooth preservation right so the buccal cusp we're talking about a buccal cusp mesiobuccal cusp so in those areas we prefer showing whereas in most of the areas in rest of the areas we have to go for capping as capping enhances the resistance feature the resistance to fracture right so that's about capping and showing and capping as i mentioned it's mostly done on functional cusps whereas showing is done in case of non-functional cusps and when we complete the only preparation the amount of gold restoration or the amount of cast gold cast restoration that should be present on a functional cusp should be a minimum of 1.5 mm we already discussed this in one of the live sessions right so the amount of material cast a material cast restorative material that should be covering the functional cusp is 1.5 mm in case of gold only especially in case of gold only and the amount of material that should be covering the non-functional cusp should be equal to approximately 1 mm right so these are some of the resistance features in gold only preparation right so whenever possible we should prefer capping over showing except in certain clinical scenarios as i mentioned before and along with that the retention of gold only is mainly mainly by the tapered walls it's not the luting cement that does the trick it's the tapered walls tapered walls which increase the frictional retention tapering of walls especially the buccal and lingual walls within the preparation which increase the frictional retention of a cast restoration especially a gold only or inlay for that matter any cast restoration and along with that another important aspect here is the mesial and distal axial wall should be nearly parallel for reciprocation 
So these are some of the important features we need to keep in mind while going for preparation of a gold only. And to summarize in brief, so we have various resistance features like capping and showing. Capping is coverage of entire cuts, whereas showing is just a veneering procedure. And when you're going for capping, the amount of functional cuts reduction has to be in the range of 1.5 mm and non-functional cuts 1 mm. And along with that, we discussed few, very few retentive features pertaining to gold only restriction right so coming to the question again so the question is you have done a gold cast rest or gold only and it has failed right you have done it you have fixed it last week and patient reports this week so what could be the reason for failure so among the given options they mentioned capping of functional cusp capping of non-functional cusp showing of functional cusp and showing of non-functional cusp right so these are the four options we have there so among the given options the most probable reason would be obviously showing of functional cusp when you go for showing of functional cusp there will be a minimal material to resist the fracture or to resist the forces acting on the particular tooth right so obviously showing on functional cuts would lead to a failure of a cast restoration especially a gold only restoration right so among the given options showing of functional cuts would be the appropriate answer i mean that could be the reason why the gold only has failed right hope it's clear